Well, the last remaining covered bridge in Hartford or Baltimore counties crosses the Little Gunpowder Falls on Jericho Road. And that's where we find Marty Bass this morning. Marty, what are you up to? How's it going? Well, it's another local landmark. Guys, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully, you're doing well, and it's a unique local landmark. Betsy Keithley, Rich Albright, friends of Jerusalem Mill are with me right now, and that is the last covered bridge in Baltimore County and Harvard County. There's only two others in the state. That's incredible. It is indeed, and we're lucky to have it here and be a wonderful landmark for the city or the county and um, for Jerusalem Mill Village. And it's in great shape. It really is in good shape. It is in great shape. In fact, it was restored in 2016 most recently. It was originally built in 1865, so it's a rather old bridge. Yeah, it is. Uh, Gunpowder Falls State Park is right behind K2's camera. Remember the jousting story we brought you a few weeks ago? Right behind K2's camera. This is an area where tourists come anyway to hike, to enjoy the scenery, use the Gunpowder River. But do people come out here specifically to see that bridge and take pictures? They sure do. They come from all over. There's groups of people that go see every covered bridge that they can. Wow, we do have some video. K2 came out a couple of weeks ago uh, and went inside the bridge to get some shots of it. So we'll continue our conversation. It's very tight in there, enough room for one car and certainly no human beings. That's right, and it makes a lot of noise when cars come through. Yeah, if a car comes comes through while we're on the air, now our next half hour, every deer in Hartford County will duck. It sounds like a machine gun. But that is the nature of a covered bridge. Absolutely. And people come from all over the world to see the covered bridge in the village. In fact, we've had visitors from every state in the United States and now 52 other countries. That's wild. It is wild. 52 other countries. 52 other countries. What is it, what is it about a covered bridge? Why do people build covered bridges? My understanding is when they were horse and buggies, if there was bad weather, they could take cover under the bridge. So not unlike... When a storm comes by on a weekend, motorcyclists will get under okay. an overpass mm -hmm. on the beltway. That, that is horse and buggy. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. That really honestly is. It's also useful to protect the deck of the covered bridge because if you have a lot of rain, ice, and snow on a wood deck, it's going to rot rather quickly. So by covering it, they were able to keep it for a longer period of time. And if the bridge were to, to go into disrepair, the detour would have been miles and miles and miles back in the day. Absolutely. Incredible. How can we find out more about this uh, this uh, covered bridge? What's your all's website? It's JerusalemMill.org. Jerusalem Mill, it's just that simple. Yes. It is absolutely gorgeous. Restricted bridge, single weight, 25,000 pounds. It can hold a lot of weight. It can hold a lot of weight. Uh, and it's been reinforced over the years so that it can hold a lot of weight. Of course, back in 1865, they didn't have heavy vehicles. That we know of. <laughs> That's a good point. Incredible. It's painted. Who, uh, real quick, as we got to run, who maintains that? It looks like a fresh coat of paint. That's maintained by both counties. Baltimore and Harford Baltimore County. Baltimore and Harford County. Incredible. Listen, we're going to have more coming up next half hour. And just hope that a car goes across that bridge while we're on the air. It's a sound you got to hear. To okay, is it right? am I right? You're right. Oh, yeah. We'll throw it back to TV Hill. Man, we were having a ball, Marty. I, I love all the questions. Yes, and the enthusiasm. So and then K2 is <laughs> saying, right, right, go sign. <laughs>